Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. All right, I have had some requests to talk about puberty, specifically the stages of puberty. So this episode, I'm going to talk about male anatomy and the puberty stages, and then I'll talk about female anatomy in a different episode. So first of all, there are basically five stages of puberty. We call things Tanner stages in the medical world. Stage one is pre-puberty. So everything childhood up to the first sign of puberty is going to be stage one. And then stage five is completion of puberty. So basically adult-like anatomy. So the steps in between are a little bit, they're not always perfectly aligned with each other because different hormones regulate different parts of puberty. But stage two of male puberty um, is going to be the first sign of puberty, which is in males, testicle growth. And that on average happens anywhere from 10 to 11, 11 and a half, although any time period between 9 to 13 is considered normal. So if you haven't noticed any testicle growth, and it's going to be teeny tiny, but if you haven't noticed any testicle growth by the time you turn 14, it's worth talking to a doctor. It doesn't mean there's any major problem, it just means that you might be going through puberty a little bit later, but it's good to talk to a doctor about that. But my point is, puberty starts at different ages for everybody. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, I've said that testicle growth is going to be the, the first sign of puberty for those with male anatomy, and that's considered stage two. Other things that happen during stage two are going to be the scrotum. The scrotal skin gets a little bit darker and a little bit more coarse in texture. Other things that happen during stage two of puberty are going to be the development of just a few pubic hairs around the base of the penis. Um, they might be a little lighter in color than what they ultimately will be, but again, it's just a few pubic hairs that are noticeably starting to pop up. And the last thing I want to talk about, this isn't necessarily correlating with stage two or stage three, but it happens around that time period, is going to be something called gynecomastia. And that's a little bit of breast tissue development for those with male anatomy and it's super normal, super common. It's estimated that it happens in like a third of those with male anatomy. And it usually goes away after a year or two. If it doesn't, you can talk to your doctor about it, but just know if that happens to you, it is super normal, okay? So then stage three of the official stage three of puberty development in those with male anatomy is going to be testicles and scrotum get a little bit larger, as well as the penis gets a little bit longer. It might get a little bit thicker, but it mainly grows in length. Also, pubic hair starts to fill in a little bit more and look more like adult pubic hair. Um, so you're going to notice a little bit more thick, darker pubic hair around the base of the penis and underneath the scrotum as well. Now, usually around this time, maybe a little bit after these things have happened, the growth spurt happens. And that's going to be on average around 13 and a half. Again, everyone's a little bit different, but keep in mind that we're already years into puberty. And that's when the growth spurt in those with male anatomy occurs. Then we move on to stage four of puberty. And that's going to be defined by, again, testicles getting bigger, scrotum getting darker in color, coarser in texture, as well as the penis getting thicker and longer. So you're going to notice some girth enlargement. And again, the pubic hair spreading even more and 
defined by sort of a triangle, an inverted triangle in the private area. It won't yet be on the inner thighs. The pubic hair will not be on the inner thighs, but it's definitely going to be above the penis as well as surrounding the base of the penis. With the penis, you will also notice that there's a distinct glands or head of the penis, a rim that distinguishes the shaft of the penis from the head of the penis. And then around this time, maybe a little bit later, will be sperm production. And until this time, you may not have noticed that you had wet dreams, but this is usually when wet dreams start to occur. And this, again, is going to be on average around the age of 14 and a half, but everyone is different, so not necessarily defined by 14 and a half, okay? Again, this is years after the start of puberty. And then stage five, the last stage of puberty or adult-like anatomy is going to be the fully developed penis, the fully developed testicles and scrotum, and pubic hair, which is also found on the inner thighs. And that's kind of the final marker for stage five of puberty. However, there are still things that happen after puberty that are started during puberty, but the development takes years beyond puberty. Those are gonna be things like your strength. So usually after puberty is completed, those with male anatomy notice that there is an increase in sort of muscle bulk. And that usually happens about a six months or a year after puberty is completed. And then things like the total voice drop, so mm, you might notice some squeaks in the meantime, but your total adult voice may not develop until you are completely done with puberty, like years later. And then facial hair also usually comes in years after puberty. So all of these things are going to be sort of a spectrum and happen at sort of random times, but those are the basic breakdowns of stage one, two, three, four, five of puberty, how we define them medically, and sort of the sequence of things. Also, keep in mind that, again, puberty can start as early as nine in those with male anatomy. Normal puberty is defined as starting between nine to 13. However, if you don't notice any changes by the time you're 14, don't panic. It's okay. Just talk to your doctor, and it might mean things are going to start a little bit later for you, but it's nothing to panic about. And lastly, I want to remind you that growth, puberty happens over years. So like four to five years. That means that penis growth also happens very slowly over four to five years. So don't panic things will keep growing and you'll get through it as we all do. And if you have any questions, talk with your doctor. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.